All right, coming up next for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World, between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Paolo the Eraser Costa. champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender for a long time. This man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. Chasing him at 185 pounds tonight, at least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. this middleweight championship fight. Costa is 29, Adesanya is 31. He is three inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Clinch position, look for a lot of different takedown attempts, a lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Costa gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. And he switches to southpaw. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Try to establish that jab. That knee, that knee hurt him. Nice kick. Oh, straight right. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big knee. Oh! 
Nice punch there by Costa. And just misses with that big right hand. Clipped him with the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Costa. Slips the shot. Oh, nice straight left there. Oh, single collar tie here. And he comes through with a big knee. Final seconds of round one. Oh, significant shot. How about those five minutes? Oh, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Round two now. Israel Adesanya and the Brazilian Paulo Costa. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 38 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And connecting at a 44% clip tonight, DC, against Paolo Costa. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Costa's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there and offensively he hasn't been a... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee lands there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, nice punch there by Costa. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. But man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Costa. Final seconds here. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Good stick. He blocks the punch. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. Well, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. 78 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Paolo Costa. Oh! Played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's gotta feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.